Hey folks, today I want to show you this computer desk. This is my current computer setup. Uh, if you've followed me for any reasonable amount of time, you've probably seen several different office slash computer desk situations that I've gone through, and I'll talk a little bit about each one in just a second. But the reason I want to show you this is because I think that this is probably the best computer setup that I've ever had. Uh, I didn't make a video on it because this is not my design. It is, like I said, the woodgears.ca wheelie desk uh, designed by Matthias Wandel. And you can check that out. I'll post the link to it in the description below where he has a set of plans for this uh, to basically make it. Uh, it is not 100% built to his plans because I did change some stuff based upon the material that I had. Uh, but it is his design and basically his plan. So. Uh, the reason why I think that this is probably the best computer setup that I've ever had is number one, it's compact. My entire office is on this desk. Uh, I have a wireless printer that sits out of the way conveniently and everything else is on this desk. My recording setup for podcast and narration stuff, uh, my, my entire computer, it's just really great and compact. Also, every other situation that I've had it was the computer desk or stand, and then you go to it and try to be comfortable. This is the exact opposite. You take a known comfortable location, which this is a, uh, it's not a rocker, it's a glider. And as far as my body size, this is really comfortable. It just fits me really, really well. So ergonomics are very friendly in this chair. And then with this setup, you take the known comfortable location and you bring the computer to you. So there's four wheels on the bottom of here, four casters. They are rubber lined casters. So everything slides nice and easily. It's not gonna mark up my floor. I do have uh, hard surface floors throughout the majority of my house. So I can move this as needed. Now I've zip tied most all the cables trying to get the wire management down. And this is about as good as it's gonna get. But it is, it is height adjustable. So you can really dial it into your, to your situation and right here I can bring the entire office right to me it is nice and ergonomically friendly and uh, I can better withstand longer computer sessions now it's obviously not a good idea to uh, sit down for a long period of time at the computer so you want to get up and move around well at this in this case it is nice and easy to move my feet can do most all the work just kicking this out of the way and then I can get back to uh, getting up or, or just having normal conversation in the house without having the office right in my face. So I really, really like this setup. It's working out fantastically. So a little bit about my previous setups and why I've moved away from each one. My very first computer setup, well, the one that I've had the longest, I should say, is just a basic desk with a glass top. And I've used this for a long time. I built it a long, long time ago. And it's worked out great here and there. My problem with it is I've never had a really good computer chair. So I've always been frustrated sitting down for long periods of time doing computer work. I since then made a stand-up computer cart that was primarily for the use in the garage in my, my shop. And that worked out well for a reasonable amount of time, except for the fact that I was standing on concrete and it just kind of got annoying. So I went back to having my computer uh, on that same car I started with. Again, the computer chair sucked, so I tried to get back to a stand-up location, try to see if it would work out. I actually made a stand-up desk to go to, to straddle my uh, treadmill, and it worked out all right, but at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's extremely difficult to walk on a treadmill as you're trying to do something precise with the mouse on a computer like uh, solid modeling or 3D modeling with, with uh, SketchUp. And also when you're trying to clip clips, clip clips, yeah, when you're trying to clip clips kind of precisely in Premiere Pro or any other video editing software, it just gets annoying. So the treadmill had to go. At that point, I went back to my sit down desk and again, did not have a nice comfortable chair, so I looked into other options. Uh, I actually made a kind of small computer desk built into the wall of my shop, but it was a sit-down station, 
And sitting in the shop in the winter time when I'm trying to heat and cool the area, uh, just for me to sit in there didn't really make sense. So I went back once again to the uh, computer desk. From there, I added some different leveling options to raise my workstation up uh, 12 to 16 inches and turn it into a stand-up station with an anti-fatigue mat. That worked out really well for several months until I realized I personally was getting in the bad habit of shifting all of my weight to one leg as I'm standing. And it started to uh, aggravate my hip a little bit, um, which was completely posture problem, not really a I'm getting old problem. Uh, so that, that station went away and I went back to the sit down desk. And here I am with this. My wife wanted uh, my wife wanted me to use the office as a dining room instead of an actually dedicated office. So that room you see behind me, that was my office. And we converted it back to a dining room with a dining table and all that in there. So we opened up this space in between my living room and kitchen. So we've got these two uh, gliders here and it's kind of like a reading nook area. So it kind of makes sense for, you know, my wife is always sitting here reading at night so I could bring my office situation to right here. So while we are together, we're doing our own kind of thing. So it kind of makes it feel a little bit more home-like. And I made this uh, shortly before I had nose surgery because I knew I was gonna be out of the shop for quite a while. And I just wanted something that would be a little bit more comfortable for me to sit down in and relax and recover from the nose surgery. So. That's the primary reason why I made this, and it's, it's just worked out really, really well. So let me bring you in closer, and I'll show you some of the details of the cart. So this is my perspective as I'm using the station. This is a BenQ 27-inch 4K monitor, uh, just a cheap wave keyboard. Uh, I'm a big fan of the split keyboard design, not a solid one, personal preference. And some cheap Logitech speakers. Don't really care about those because I primarily use these headphones right here, which they're actually a Turtle Beach PlayStation 3 headset. Um, works out really well, I like them. And you gotta have the KISS flash drive and the Iron Man flash drive. Uh, wire management kinda sucks. I did the best I could just zip tying things uh, appropriately. Not, not, not the greatest, but you know, it gets the job done and it's uh, relatively non-spaghetti-like. So, uh, it's very convenient to have everything for me shifted over to the left side because I am right-handed so I can use this space over here for a tablet or some paperwork that I need to go through like bills or whatever. So I have everything shifted over to the left side. It's pretty much the perfect size in my opinion for the tabletop and I went right off his dimensions uh, for the tabletop. So like I said the cable management isn't the greatest but it gets the job done. Zip ties everywhere. And I mounted one of these power strips to the horizontal stretcher right below the top. And all of the power goes into it. And that means I only have one cord coming out. I've also zip tied the ethernet cable to it. And it actually runs through my blinds. So it's not an eyesore in my living room. Somewhat not an eyesore as much as it can be. And that goes, uh, actually goes all the way through the window. You can't really see it. Uh, so basically this cart is tethered with one cord, which really isn't that bad. The original design calls for a mixture of hardwoods and softwoods. However, I had a bunch of hickory that I just wanted to use up, so I used hickory on the entire base. And because I'm using all hardwoods, a really hard hardwood, uh, I shrunk a little bit of the dimensions here and there based upon the sizes of the material that I had. So these feet are a lamination of two pieces of hickory and they're connected to one another with this horizontal piece in the back. Uh, it is a half lap joint and I used screws to pin it together while the glue dries. Uh, I could remove these screws if it's too ugly, however I just don't care. Um, this, uh, or the, this vertical piece right here, the legs, are two pieces that have a bunch of grooves cut into them and they these grooves mate with one another so this whole thing can slide up and down and there are, as you can see, a bunch of different holes to really dial in the height. Now this isn't perfectly height adjustable as you're using it. You will have to kind of remove the weight off the top so you can take these bolts out 
adjust it to the height you need, and then re-bolt it back together. Uh, I'm just using some carriage bolts with a wing nut. This isn't the most elegant solution. Some star knobs out here on the end would be fine, or would probably look better, but this does the job, and really, uh, you never look at it, so I don't really care. Uh, they are connected over here at the top back side with a, another horizontal stretcher, this time in the vertical orientation, and it is connected with a half lap joint over here as well. So between this connection over here, that really reduces racking left and right, and then this half lap joint over here to uh, really keep the footprint stationary. Uh, this is a very, very solid cantilevered design to really straddle you as you're sitting in the chair. If we look up from the top, you'll see that the support structure basically mimics the base. And I added this piece of, you'll see it right there, this horizontal piece of pine, uh, just because the piece of plywood that I'm using right here is half inch plywood, and it had a little bit of a sag to it. So I put that in there to kind of straighten it out, just some extra bracing, which is fine, doesn't affect anything at all. The top is mounted to the base with a couple screws drilled right through the top pre-drilled and countersunk below the surface, so nothing sliding over the top will be affected. I thought that this might be a problem as far as me maybe using the surface to write on and accidentally hitting one of these holes. However, it's a non-issue. The vast majority of the surface is covered up with some other stuff, so it doesn't matter. And I never use this as a writing surface anyway. It's just, they're just visible. So if that bothers you, there's other ways to do it, of course. Now, like I said, I have everything on the left side of the cart because I am right-handed. So this is actually sized so that my feet will go in the middle and it will completely straddle my chair and come up all the way to me. However, I've just found it convenient since in order for me to get it out of the way, I just roll it to my right to straddle one leg instead. It doesn't matter that it's not centered on my chair. At this point, I can bring it right up to me. Uh, it doesn't interfere with these armrests at all. And like I said, it is very ergonomically friendly. Now, sometimes the monitor being that close, you may have already thought this is just a little bit too close, which sometimes it is. So for editing, um, I don't have to be really close to the computer. I actually never am this close to the computer. Normally out to here is just fine. And if I want to say, watch a documentary on YouTube or just watch a video from the computer, then I can just kick it out of the way just slightly. And it's a little bit more appropriate for my eyes. And then also because the leg is in between both of my legs, I can use my leg to more easily get it out of the way rather than trying to push it every time. So it's just the little things that really add up. I really think that this is the best computer cart, at least from my situation, computer desk, computer stand, whatever you want to call it. From my situation, fantastic. Your situation may not be the same. You may have carpet on the floor prohibiting you from sliding this easily. Um, at which point you could probably use larger casters, but I just wanted to throw this video out there. If you're not familiar with this design, be sure to check it out. Um, it's just fantastic. I really, really like it. Uh, like I said, I did not make a build video on this because it's not my design and I really just wanted to get something done for me to use. So hopefully you found this somewhat informative. Um, be sure to check out the links. Be sure to check out the uh, original article for this design. You guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.